Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a bear with son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV, God with us. And there is enough available anointing to heal you, to deliver you, and to bless you today. Amen? Let's clap for Jesus Christ. So right now we have another wonderful testimony to listen to. And before we listen to the testimony, let's just watch our screen and see how this lady came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and received her healing in Jesus' name. Here is Honorable Ladio Ko painfully approaching the gate of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, moving slowly and cautiously with the aid of a pair of crutches. With each step more agonizing than the last, she is relieved when at last she is able to sit down on a chair provided. She has come because as a result of the horrific accident she sustained, she suffered multiple fractures on her ankle, rendering her unable to walk. The only support given by the doctors was a pair of crutches. An x-ray shows the extent of the damage to her ankle bones. A bandage is used to support the fragile ankle. She has come in faith, believing that Jesus Christ, her Redeemer, is able to restore her stolen joy and mend her broken bone. I'm on Rebuladioku. I'm 43 years old. I have a problem with my ankle. Multiple fraction, fraction of the ankle. I'm using a pair of uh, crutches. And with this problem of multiple fracture of the ankle, how has it affected you? I cannot do anything. I cannot walk. I cannot go to work. I cannot even do anything. I cannot cook for my children. I cannot do anything at all. And I'm having serious pain. I cannot walk. I'm using crutches to help myself. I cannot do anything of myself. I've been to the hospital, been to the local harbor, and no solution to it. And beside you, we can see an extra. Can you tell us about it? That is the extra of the accident that I have. You mean the extra is revealing the state of your bones? Yes. They put POP and no ave. I went to have a uh, treatment. No, I cannot walk. And today that you are here, what do you believe God Almighty will do for you? I believe that God will heal me and this is my last bus stop. I don't know where to go again. I've come to Christ to heal me. Amen. When God Almighty heals, He heals effectually. We pray with you and we believe with you that the Lord Almighty will use His anointed servants to set you free today in Jesus' name. Amen. Joshua moves down the synagogue church of all nations prayer line in the arena of liberty, praying for the people as every sickness, disease and bondage in their lives bow to the powerful name of Jesus Christ. God help me. Help me. God help me. Help me. I cannot walk. I cannot walk. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Nous voyons maintenant cette femme recevoir la prière. La puissance de Saint-Esprit, nous voyons sa jambe bouger contre sa volonté. Alors se trouve cette fracture à sa cheville. Estamos viendo a esta mujer con el problema de fractura del tobillo. No, no, no. Nous venons de voir la vidéo de cette femme qui est venue à la synagogue des nations avec un problème de difficulté à marcher. Elle a reçu la prière de l'homme de Dieu. Nous allons maintenant écouter son témoignage. So right now this lady is here live and direct here in our midst and we want to invite her forward with her family members. So let's clap for her as she comes forward to share her testimony.
We know that truly this is the evidence that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Hallelujah. Madam, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. Please introduce yourself to us and share your wonderful testimony. Emmanuel! Emmanuel! My name is Ladoko. I'm from Benue State, Nigeria. And who are the people standing next to you? This is my husband and this is my daughter and my auntie. They are the people that stay with me in the hospital when I got the accident. Now share with us your testimony, starting with what was the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and how this problem was really affecting you. I have a fraction of the ankle. I cannot walk. I cannot do anything. I stay in the hospital for six months and I can't walk. And I went to the Harbourless uh, place. They cannot do it. I couldn't walk. I was using the crutches. And uh, I, I now came to Lagos, uh, Lagos, Nigeria, here. Then the man of God prayed for me and I got my healing. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. But we just want to hear from you. How did this accident happen? Explain how the accident happened and how this problem really, really affected you. What were the things that you were not able to do because of the multiple fractures that you had? I cannot walk. I cannot go to work. I can't even cook for my children. I can't go to anywhere. I was indoor. I see that I'm in, in, in prison. I cannot do anything of myself. But when I came here, God of man prayed for me and I got healing. From there, I started driving immediately and I started walking. Then Let's I came... clap for Jesus Christ. Wow, so you were unable to do all those things. People had to assist you to do everything. Yes. They assist me to bath me, even to carry me from inside to the bedroom, from bedroom to bed. I cannot do anything of myself. I cannot go to work. I cannot even cook for my children. I can't go to anywhere. I thank God that God has delivered me. And God, uh, our father, TV Joshua, prayed for me and I got here. Amen. So, uh, mother is explaining how she came to the Synagogue Church of the Nations with a very severe, multiple fractures of the ankle. But the man of God, Prophet TV Joshua, prayed for her and immediately she received her healing. Madam, can you explain to us what happened to you when the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, was praying for you? I just have a feeling like that and I jump up and the strength came to my body and I started running immediately. Thank you. So immediately after the prayer, the leg, the foot that you were not able to place on the ground, you were able to place it on the ground? Yes, I can place it on the ground and I can walk. I can dance, I can do anything of myself. I can go to the market, I can drive car, any car I can drive now with the car, with the leg. Let's clap for Jesus one more time. Uh, truly the evidence of our Lord Jesus Christ. We can see on the screen right now as the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, prayed for her. Immediately she was able to place her foot on the ground. And we know that the evidence of Jesus Christ is our rising and our walking. So Manan, right now we just want you to demonstrate for us what you can do now that you were not able to do before. Sure. I can walk. I can be wrong. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's clap for Jesus. So you mean when you were having this problem, you were not able to do this before? I cannot do anything of myself. People used to carry me from room to outside, from bed to bed, even to feed. I cannot do anything of myself. Thank you, Jesus. Well, we know that your family is also here with you and they also shared the pain of the experience that you went through and I'm sure they have one or two words to add to what you have said. So sir, you're very welcome. Just introduce yourself to us and just tell us what you have to add to this glorious testimony. My name is Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God with us. My name is Mr. John Oko Sunday. 
I'm from Benue State in Nigeria. My wife has said it all. But what I have to say is that precisely on the 8th of June 2013, she had the accident. And it was discovered in the hospital that it was a fracture of the tibia and the ankle. And she couldn't walk. She carried the POP on the leg. After a while, it was removed. She had more complications. We didn't know what to do, but we were praying and trusting God that she could walk on her leg again. Uh, it was really excruciating during the moment because I had to carry her with other persons for virtually everything, and it was not an easy thing at all. We kept praying and kept trusting God that one day she will be healed and she will walk on her leg again. One morning after our devotion in the house, she told me, Daddy, I want to go to Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua in Lagos. I'm going to receive my healing there. I didn't have to doubt her because I believe in the Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua as the prophet for this generation. And I said, okay, you can go. So we prepared the family car and my daughter with some other family members came with her because I couldn't come because of my tight schedules. And on that fateful day that the man of God prayed for her, we watched her on television as she got up to be, and began to walk immediately and there was joy in the house. He knew no bound. And until now, we are joyful and we are really happy. She can do everything now. It's a big relief for me as a man in the house because if I was doing everything up to now for about a year now, I wonder where I would have been by now. So, in a few days ago, we decided that we should come here to say, God, we thank you. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, is indeed a response from a happy heart. So, we just want to hear from you. What were the doctors telling you concerning your wife's condition then? Yeah, actually, I didn't want to say so much, but uh, at a point when I took uh, the x-rays and other uh, checks to the medical doctor, after examination, he told me calmly that the problem with the ankle is a major one, that my wife will require an operation. But he was not too sure how her leg would be after the operation. He confided in me. So I said, well, doctor, but we have a God who can operate it. So I left there, but I didn't tell my wife that because it was going to frighten her. I only came back to tell her, we keep trusting God, you are going to walk on your leg, and we began to give all the assistance that he needed, all the encouragement, and thank God today, God has answered our prayers, and she's on her feet. Emmanuel. God is truly with us. So just briefly, let us hear from your daughter. As we know, she also accompanied her mother here to the Synagogue Church of the Nations when she was having that terrible, terrible condition. So you're very welcome. Just tell us your name and just tell us how you want to thank God for what God has done in the life of your mother. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Esther Oku. I'm the daughter to Honorable Mrs. Ladi Oku. I just want to thank Jesus for healing my mom. It was a terrible incident with the stress and all of that. She couldn't go to work. She couldn't do anything on her own, carrying, having people carry her along and all that. It was quite stressful. But I just want to thank God that God used Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua in his time to deliver her from that situation. And my whole advice to the world is that when you run out of hope, it is time to grab onto faith. Thank you. Amen. What a wonderful word of advice there. That when you have run out of rope, you have to grab onto faith. And I believe that all these testimonies we have been hearing has been building, it, building and strengthening our faith in Christ Jesus. So, Madam, finally, what is your word of advice uh, to those that are suffering, to those that are in need of a healing from Jesus Christ, who are in a similar condition that you were in then? My advice to the viewers is that in any situation you should call upon the Lord and He will answer you. 
Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. That is a wonderful word of advice there that we should trust in God because faith indeed is a lifestyle of trusting in God. And we just want to advise you now that you've been set free, healed by Christ's word. You should continue to be ruled by his word to maintain this wonderful testimony you have received and come back with even more testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. Nous l'entendons dans le même témoignage de cette femme qui est venue à la synagogue des Unis Nations avec le problème de difficulté à marcher due à la fracture de la cheville. Elle ne pouvait pas faire ses activités quotidiennes, elle ne pouvait rien faire. On a vu qu'elle avait des béquilles. Elle a vu qu'après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, elle a pu maintenant marcher librement. Sa fracture a été complètement restaurée et maintenant elle marche librement sans aucune fracture, sans aucune douleur. Elle peut faire toutes ses tâches ménagères et quotidiennes pour la gloire de Dieu. And we just want to see you one more time. Exercise yourself and show us what you can do now that you were not able to do for the glory of God. Let's clap for Jesus as we watch. Thank you, Jesus. Dancing for the glory of the Lord. Amen. www.goan.org Go to the Visit Us page and for those from within Nigeria you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked and after you have filled in the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any traveling arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you. Emmanuel. God with us. Emmanuel, Matthew 1.23 Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and a birth of son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, meaning the God with us. Jesus Christ to empowers his followers to change the world today. Distance is not a barrier to God's move. Emmanuel TV. God with us.